And today we're visiting with Kyle Willis. Of, uh, who, he, he's, he's, a, he's an umpire. And, and I remember Kyle, and I'm going to date myself here. Now, of course, Kyle's a young guy, but I remember you back, back in school. You, you've been doing this for how long? How long have you been an umpire? I've been certified umpiring for 13 years now. 13 years. You started when you were how old? I started when I was 13. I've been certified since I was 15. Wow. That is, that's amazing. That, what makes a person want to get into umpire? I mean, I've been to ball games, and I hear how people talk about yes. umpires sometimes. And, and uh, we need good umpires. Yes, you do. You so, have to have. Uh, when I first started, you know, it was just for the money. You know, mm -hmm. 13, 15 years old, gas money, date money, whatever. Right, right. But as you get older, you realize how much you enjoy the game. Mm-hmm and how much you want to be there for those kids and make sure that they get treated fairly, no right. matter what. Right. Uh, you know, last yesterday I was listening to the Arkansas game while I was at work, uh -huh. and they was talking about the guy behind the plate being so inconsistent. But he was so inconsistent both ways, so it made it fair. Right, right, right. So, right. you know, at least, at least he was consistent. And that's <laughs> the biggest thing about being an umpire, is you want to be consistent all the way around the board. If you're going to be wrong, be wrong both ways. Okay. All right. Well, I, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. But people, people do take it badly. And I, I would imagine that uh, there are folks that probably sit at ball games sometimes and say, well, I can do a better job than that. Well, here's your chance, Please right? Please do. I, <laughs> I encourage it. I will ask a fan to come out of the stands every day of the week. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, like I said, I've been doing it for a while now, and you have to have thick skin mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't – you hear what's going on, but you can't acknowledge it behind right. you. Right. Right. Uh, you know, I've I've learned from some good guys that have been umpiring for years. Uh, my dad, I learned under you know Gary Richards. He's mm -hmm. been umpiring for years. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up watching them, learning how they handle situations, and I've picked up you know small minute things about how to handle a crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all part of what you guys do. And I understand that we're well. We've got a. I mean, the sun's out today, and and we've got you know we're not far away from baseball, uh, softball, uh, all that stuff coming up. Registration's going on right now for D Queen mm -hmm. uh, for Sevier County. They start the draft on the first. Uh -huh. Nashville first. just wrapped up uh, this past uh, yeah, they, Friday. I knew it was pretty close. Yeah. They was getting. Uh -huh. I call for them every now and then. Um, you know, season starts April sixth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So. So we're going to be having a meeting coming up? I'm going up. to have a Dixie Youth meeting uh, at the Sportsplex, 2 o'clock, mm -hmm. March 8th. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's wanting to get or interested in umpiring, uh, please be there, ask questions. Uh, I'm going to have a quiz that we're going to go through. Uh, I'll have books. You know, anybody who's willing to try to make some money. and So we're it. talking about, now if you're experienced, that's great, but if you have no experience... We will gladly teach you. We're going to find a way to make it yes, work. We... Uh, you know, I grew up, when I first started, I was calling eight-year-olds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you're just learning, that's the best place to be. Because especially if you think you know the game, mm -hmm. eight-year-olds don't know the game. <laughs> so you're like, okay, the play's going to first, they throw it to third, and you're, oh, what are we doing now? <laughs> so, I mean, you got to be on your toes. Uh, right, right. So, I mean, no matter how much you think you know the game, there's always something that's going to happen that you're not ready for. And uh, now we're talking about this meeting coming up. Where is it going to be? What time? Two o'clock at the Sportsplex okay. on March the 8th. March the 8th. Yes. And uh, we, we mentioned earlier, you got in it originally just to make a little extra money yes. and stuff. What, what kind of money can you make being an umpire? I mean, you work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. You work four hours, mm -hmm. four and a half hours max. You know, a week you're looking at, if you work every night, two games, you're looking at $200 a week. Mm -hmm. Easy. All right. All right. So, I mean, you know, for... High school kid. That's that's good money. Heck yeah. That's good money. All right then. Well, somebody just looking for something to do a little extra and, and actually help out the kids. Yes. Like that's what I it's mean, all about. You know, we have a good group of guys that have umpired with us for years. Uh, you know, and but they get tired. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a long season. They have jobs. You know, it gets tiring. Right. Well, he is Kyle Willis talking about the upcoming umpiring clinic. That's our fun fact of the day this morning here on Ed 88.